party people. I have a massive grocery haul for you today. I went to Costco, filmed a shop with me. I haven't been there in a while. I don't know, like a month, which is a while for me. So I needed to stock up on a lot of things. I spent so much money that combined with the fact that I spent a, a lot of money on a really expensive Valentine's Day gift for Alex combined with the fact that I bought two new pairs of glasses. It has been somewhere around like six years since I got new glasses. How long has it been? I've gone 10 years without getting new glasses. Well, anyway, so I got new glasses. That was a lot of money. And then combined with just everything combined, I just spent a lot of money, okay? But before I get into it, I wanna share with you my multivitamin, which is fitting to share during a grocery haul because it fills in the gaps in my super healthy diet. The vitamins I take are Ritual Vitamins and I wanna thank Ritual so much for sponsoring today's video. And as always, I wanna thank you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. So Ritual sells multivitamins. They are on a mission to turn healthy habits into, wait for it, a ritual. Alex and I have been taking them for a while now and we both really love them. And something that is really exciting is Ritual now offers vitamins for kids. They're gummies that are sugar-free, which is what I love about them. And my kids have recently started taking them and I love watching the company grow. They actually offer vitamins for kids, teens, 18 and up, prenatal, postnatal, and 50 and up. They have different vitamins scientifically developed for males and females, which I think is just so important and awesome. They include high quality ingredients, no shady additives, fillers, or colorants. Ritual is also vegan friendly, sugar free, non-GMO, gluten and allergen free, and free of any, again, sketchy additives or fillers, so you know what you're getting is really high quality. Another thing I love about Ritual Vitamins is that they are environmentally friendly. The bottles are made from 100% recycled materials, and the vitamins are sent to you in a recycled newsprint with plant fibers and plant-based ink. There is so much that I love about Ritual, from the minty tab that makes the vitamins really refreshing to take. Some of the vitamins, uh, like the prenatal, have a lemony tab, like a citrusy tab, which is such a welcomed treat, and the fact that they show up to your doorstep right when you need them. So if you're interested, if you're in the market for a new vitamin right now, Ritual is offering you 10% off during your first three months. You can sign up using my link below. Ritual.com slash wads, and my code is wads. I would love for you to do that. Well, that's it about vitamins. Now let's get into the vitamins that we eat. All right, so I'll give you a nice 360 view. There's one section. It's a few items back there. And then a lot more items uh, over here. And then that. What I actually went for. So I guess I will start with the produce section. Makes me seem healthy. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. I forgot the kiwis in the car. BRB. I, I mean, this is so much stuff. I don't even know how I'm going to get through it. So I got a lot of kiwis right there. Eleanor loves them. This is like a powerhouse fruit. I feel like not a lot of people talk about a great source of potassium, vitamin C, energy, and fiber. I mean, it's all true. Right there on the label. It says it. We better believe it. I also got some avocados. These were a really good price. I don't know when avocados are in season, but maybe it's now, I don't know. I also grabbed some apples for the kiddos. Plus for me, oh wait, there was this one dinner recipe that I planned to do. Oh, you guys, did I tell you I didn't meal plan. This is like me without a meal plan. I'm just, I was just trying to stock up on literally everything. So apples, it's like a chicken or pork recipe. You can use either or. And that, you know what, I'll just show you. Maybe I'll do a week of dinners or something, but it's a sheet pan idea. So we'll, we'll do that with those apples maybe. I got some cauliflower, love roasting veggies in the oven. I also got some Brussels sprouts. I will say that I kind of meal planned, but I didn't at all. In my head I thought, oh, I'll just do a bunch of sheet pan dinners because those are my favorite and I love roasting veggies, so it's my favorite way to cook veggies, Brussels sprouts, and everything. I got some lime because one of the sheet pan meals was like a lime, maybe fajita kind of dish, you know, you need some limes. And plus, okay, at the grocery store, it's like two limes for a dollar. Or at Costco, you can get 75 limes for $4, so I went with the latter. In my mind, I'm saving money, but am I gonna use all those limes? I hope so. If not, I can juice them, put the juice in the freezer, save them for later. I got a bu couple bundles of bananas. They'll either all go brown or they will all get eaten. And I never know which one my family is going to choose that week. I got a couple bags of green beans. Again, I love roasting those. Oh my gosh, and I tell you guys my favorite dish all the time. Maybe I should make it. Ooh, yeah, maybe I'll just make it. It's like ground beef with soy sauce, brown sugar. Ooh, 
Full chef's kiss. A couple bags of bell peppers. A lot of recipes, including bell peppers. I also just love to eat them raw. It's great nutrition. A couple bags of potatoes, the baby potatoes. I cannot remember the last time I had potatoes in the oven. They're like so crunchy. They taste like french fries, really. My kids think they're french fries because that's what I make them think. And they're delicious. I love them. And then I got some celery sticks. Oh my gosh, you guys. I go through phases when I eat celery like it's going out of style. Like my body is saying, yes, all the celery. And then I can eat this bag within two days, but that will go on for a week. And then after that week, I don't wanna to touch celery for like four months. It's like my body says, that's enough, no more celery. So right now I'm on a celery kick. I have some in the fridge and then I also have this. I got a lot of romaine lettuce. It's the best price at, at Costco. It is my absolute favorite. Make salads with that. Ooh, taco bowls. Oh, you know what I love to put on salads lately? It's just, I, I just chop up a head of romaine lettuce and then throw on some cooked chicken. And then, ooh, here's the kicker. Here's what I throw on top of it. You can use Frank's Red Hot sauce I've been using this medium buffalo dipping sauce I thought it was like a hot buffalo dressing and they may sell one I thought that's what I bought but apparently I just got this from Thrive Market so I've been using it it is delicious it's one of my faves if you're not into all that spice because I will tell you it like makes me sweat because I use that as a dressing uh, you could also use like a taco sauce or something like that equally as delicious I got a lot of grapes oh my gosh I have been waiting to get Costco grapes my husband and I used to have this running joke that like he would eat one grape because they're so large he'd say oh my gosh I'm, I'm packed to the rafters you know like he couldn't eat any more possibly ever because the grapes are just so filling from Costco or whatever anyway I got two of them I feel like when my kids get home I mean I ate a bunch on the way home yes I know I didn't wash it it's horrible whatever I'll eat the preservatives I'll probably die eventually but also when my kids get home they're gonna eat the snots out of these oh my gosh they're so crunchy Publix has been not so great with their grape selection lately. So, and when they are, I buy them and then it's like $75 for the smallest bag of grapes and it makes me want to cry, but I love grapes. So what am I supposed to do? Oh my gosh, you know what Costco didn't have? Strawberries, no strawberries at Costco. What is going on in my life? I got some sweet potatoes. That's what I've been into lately. Maybe just cooked sweet potato, you mash it up, add a little bit of butter and it's good on everything. You can put some chicken in there with barbecue sauce or whatever you like, or just eat it raw. Raw? I meant cooked. Who eats a raw sweet potato? Absolutely no one. I bet someone out there is going to be in the comment section. I eat raw sweet potato and I love it. I also got a pineapple. Ooh, look how good this pineapple looks. I got one that was pretty green because I figured I won't be cutting it for a few days or week. I grabbed some broccoli florets. Oh my gosh, finally cut. Wait, wait, wait. Four one pound steamable bags. Okay, never mind. They didn't change anything. I thought Oh, okay, they don't come in, you know, pre-packaged bags on the inside, and that's okay, I'll deal with it because it's less plastic waste and all that stuff. Well, apparently, they just changed the outside of the bag. Now it has broccolis all over it. I don't know. It's broccoli, I love it. Quick, easy vegetable because I can throw it in my microwave and I really don't have to do anything with it. My kids love broccoli, so that's that. I also, well, let's finish with the produce over here. I got a, what kind of melon is this? A green one, honeydew melon. I was about to buy one of those pre-cut you know how they pre-cut the fruit and stuff and they sell it for like five times the price. Well, anyway, I didn't buy that, but the honeydew looked really good and they had strawberries in those, but they did, they looked pretty sad. I will say that. So I decided not to buy it and I just bought a honeydew instead. I also got some onions. Guys, what is wrong with me? I love the smell of onions. Just wafting this bag from, cause I had it on that counter and I moved it to where all the produce was. The waft I got from that, I thought, oh my gosh, I love that smell. But also I hate the smell of B.O. So I don't know what that equates to but I do love onions in my food so delicious maybe I'm just super hungry right now I, that could totally be the case I got two packages of uh, not celery what are these called cucumbers love to eat these I love to put them in my kids lunches they like it with feta cheese and that Italian dressing from Olive Garden and they'll eat the crap out of that too I'll put anything on vegetables to get my kids to eat them honestly but it doesn't take much and then I got what are these mangoes six mangoes and I had to feel around you guys I touched a lot of them but don't worry I hand sanitize about 75 times when I'm in the grocery store. Most of them were ripe, like ready to eat yesterday, you know? So I had to feel around, get some good ones. I think I did that. I did my job right. Okay, moving on to this monk fruit sweetener. So obviously this is like a healthier sweetener. It's a bit on the pricey side. It's keto. 
I don't, you know what? I don't know how they make a sugar free sugar. <laughs> it's like a sugar substitute, raw cane sugar replacement. And it looks like little granules and it's like a one to one, there it is, a one to one sugar replacement. It's keto friendly or maybe it's a, it's like a natural sugar that doesn't spike your glucose levels or something. I don't really know the science behind it. I just know it's like a better for you sugar. It's a sugar replacement that's better for you. And I thought, you know what? My kids need something like that in their lives. You know, obviously I'm still going to buy sugar and all of that stuff. My kids still eat sugar. I love cake, okay? There's no getting around it. But I thought, you know, on the occasion I could use this as a substitute. So there we go. And at Costco, it's the cheapest price. I almost got it at, I think, at Home Goods or something. I don't know why they're selling that at Home Goods, but they do. It was like $4 for the smallest bag. Almost bought it. Maybe it was $7. I don't remember. Anyway, I didn't buy it. I also got some avocado oil. Wow, 20 minutes later, and I'm still only like a quarter of the way through. This is going to be a day. Avocado oil. It's already been a day because I've. Ugh, it took me 20 hours to go grocery shopping at Costco. <laughs> avocado oil. Okay, Alex asked me to get this. He has one of his friends is like super healthy and all that stuff. And he said, buy avocado oil. Well, I need extra virgin olive oil. I did not want to buy both. First of all, I was running out of space in my cart. I need a flat cart. Next time I go, I just need a flat cart. I will wait for, I will sniff one out in the parking lot if I need to. I could not find one this time. Anyway, he said avocado oil is healthier. High heat, 500 degrees. I, what am I cooking at 500 degrees? Anyway, I aim to please, so I grabbed it. I said, fine, I'll get it this time. I don't, I hate avocado. I think that's my downfall. Like, I don't like the taste or texture of avocados, and now I'm gonna have the tip. I might not like it. I'll keep you updated. If I use it and like it slash don't like it, I will let you know either way. I also got some blueberries. These are just delicious. Eat them by the handful. Feed them to your kids. Feed them to your friends. Give them to your, don't give them to your neighbors. Keep them for yourself because they're expensive. Speaking of expensive, this is the first time I got this avocado mash. What is it? Basically just mashed up avocado. Let's see the ingredients in here. Yep, that's it. Just avocados, lemon juice to keep the color, sea salt, and black pepper. Great ingredients. There's not even a preservative in there, which is amazing. But you know what? Uh, what's her face? What's her name? <laughs> Meredith loves it. I mean, everyone loves avocado in our family, but especially Alex, Eleanor, and Meredith, well, excluding myself. I do not, if you didn't gather. Uh, but I figured this would just be an easy snack for her. I can rip one open and feed it to her with a spoon and she'll be happy as a pig in mud. Meredith also likes these applesauce pouches and these are the like the better kinds. They, you know, more natural ingredients and all that good stuff. There it is. Apples and ascorbic acid to maintain color and they're organic. And it's a great price at Costco. Whenever I get apple pouches from Publix or where, wherever else I'm shopping, they're always a little bit pricier. So I'm always happy to get them at Costco. Okay, this is an easy dinner idea. I used to buy the, um, what are the like dinner rolls called where they come in a pack of like 24 of that. What are they called? I don't know. The rolls, you guys know what I'm talking about. Hawaiian rolls, okay. So I used to always get that. And then I noticed, wow, my kids are not eating the Hawaiian rolls. Alex and I are, we probably don't need them. My kids just like to eat them. I'll serve it maybe with some rice, maybe on a tortilla or something. A corn tortilla is really fantastic. Or even, I eat it with a salad. Just put a bed of lettuce on there, throw some pork on there. Anyway, okay, this is a very easy weeknight meal. You can keep one in your freezer and then pull it out the night before, or whatever. Ever, but it stays pretty long time in your fridge and you just microwave it for I don't know eight minutes or something and you have a delicious dinner almost ready for you because you do need a couple of other ingredients to make it a full dinner maybe some corn maybe a nice vegetable maybe, maybe some broccoli I don't care you know what you eat what you want but one more thing I wanted to mention what did I want to mention oh eating this or making it I okay oh I have tried my hand at like several different pulled pork recipes in the crock pot in the oven I don't even care they all come out so weird this is the best I've ever had the best I've ever had it's so good I can't get the smoky flavor in my crock pot you know what I mean oh I'm drooling over this it's my favorite find at Costco oh they also since it's like almost Cinco de Mayo they're coming out with even more like carnitas and stuff like that so keep your eye out but this is a better price I think which is why I went with it okay this is new I found it it's I probably spent way too much on this how much was this oh I don't know so it's paleo great wonderful who cares ready in five minutes lemongrass chicken and that got me I love lemon I love grass 
Uh, chicken's okay. Tender chicken breast strips paired with a vibrant lemongrass sauce made with coconut milk, basil, and hints of garlic. Doesn't that sound delicious? Coconut milk? I thought, you know what, if I love this, maybe I can try to find a copycat recipe and recreate it. Coconut milk? Yes, please. All right, I feel like I haven't moved an inch. Put mashed potatoes, I love having this just ready to go in my fridge. You know, on those nights where we're just running around like chickens with our heads cut off. I'm busy some nights, some nights I'm not, and that's when I can have the opportunity to cook something more extensive than mashed potatoes that are pre-made. But whatever, you know, Costco has my back when I need them. Okay, these are some new items as well. So I ended up getting these broccoli and cheddar cheese bacon wrapped stuffed chicken. What? That is a mouthful. But just look at it. How can I leave that? on the Costco shelf. Six entrees, so this was like $13. I wanna say, I'll put the prices up here so I don't have to keep guessing, but 32 grams of protein, who cares? Ooh, grain-free, okay, anyway. This looks really delicious. I don't know if everyone's gonna love it. Last time I got something stuffed like this, it wasn't that great. We ate it, but I didn't buy it again, so I have high hopes for this mostly because of the bacon. And then I got these, Garden Lights Veggies Made Great. I think this is the one that everyone told me was really good. I also can't remember because it's been a couple of years. I remember back when Costco had samples to supply, uh, they had these out and I tried like one of each, but I think this one was missing. I can't remember, it's been so, so long, but they either didn't have this for me to buy or I didn't like it or I didn't have it as a sample. Uh, and everyone told me it was good. I can't, just something about the chocolate made me think, hmm, I can feed this to my kids and maybe feel a little better about feeding them a chocolate muffin in the morning because it also is made with zucchini and carrots, 110 calories, gluten-free. What else can we say about it? Here are the macros if you're interested and here are the ingredients. I'll let you know if my kids like it. Something my kids don't really enjoy, and why is seafood so expensive? And you know what? I used to eat seafood all the time. Woo, baba. I don't remember why I stopped eating it. A part of me thinks, one time someone told me that shrimp were like the cockroaches of the sea and that just really grossed me out. So I stopped eating shrimp for a really long, I still don't really like it or eat it, but I saw a recipe before I went to Costco this morning. I kinda, I told you I kinda meal plan, but not at all. I was just looking through Pinterest and stuff, maybe YouTube, I can't remember what, I don't, I don't know what I was doing this morning, why are you asking? But I saw a recipe, it was like a sheet pan meal with shrimp and I thought, wow, that shrimp is probably overcooked. How can you cook shrimp the same time frame that you can cook bell peppers? It didn't make sense to me, but I bought it anyway because Alex really likes shrimp and I aim to please, so there's that. Oh, the main attraction. Yes, guys, your eyes do not deceive you. I got three bags of these. I almost bought four because I'm so afraid that Costco is going to like get rid of them or they're gonna be out of stock or something. These are my absolute favorite. I love having these on hand for after school lunches or after school snack, whatever. Lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. No antibiotics. They taste so much like Chick-fil-A nuggets. This is the chicken I'll like sprinkle on my salad or whatever, I'll cut it up. I just, I love this. I'm speechless, it's so good. If you see it at your Costco, buy it, just try a bag. $13 at Chick-fil-A, it costs $13 for 30 pieces. I wanna say there's at least 60 pieces in here. Here, let's, let's take a peek. 22 servings per container. Serving size is three ounces. Okay, so I don't know how many nuggets are in three ounces, you guys, but if you do, you can do the math and all that good stuff. Make an estimate and tell us in the comments what you think. I'm saying at least 60 pieces. That's my that's my estimated guess. If there was like a marble jar, like how many marbles are in that jar? I, you know what? I never win at those things, so don't take my word for anything. I got some half and half and some whipping cream, mostly because I've needed whipping cream in a couple of recipes and I've run to Publix and get it and it's like, six dollars for a, the smallest container of whipping cream at Costco this whole thing is three and this is like a dollar something a half and a half I so I have no plans I don't know what I'm gonna make with these but they last for quite some time this one is March 14th and this one expires in April 2nd so there's that I also got some tortillas. I always like to keep these on hand. A taco night is a very easy, simple meal night for us. When I'm like, oh, what's for dinner? Tacos, tacos it is. Always a crowd pleaser. Some ch sharp cheddar cheese over here. I shared with you in my Costco shop with me that the price of this, oh my gosh. Somebody kick me in the neck. 
$7.50. I feel like it used to be less than $5, but there's that price of cheese. Everything goes up with inflation and that's how America works. Salted sweet cream butter, delicious. Oh, speaking of delicious, my kids love these crepes every morning for breakfast. I'll give them a little treat if they are behaving appropriately. <laughs> I hide those. Uh, for the good days, you know what I mean? I also got some of this yogurt for them. All my kids really love it. The black cherry, peach, blueberry, and strawberry. I will say that Alex's favorite is the peach. Uh, my favorite is vanilla, which they don't have in here, and there's that. Oh, and pepperoni. These are so simple for the kids' lunches. I always put together like Lunchables, pepperoni, some crackers. Oh, nuts! I forgot to buy nuts from Costco. Man, I was rushing toward the end because I bought some of my uh, glasses and I had to sit there for a little bit and I just kept thinking, oh my gosh, I have all that stuff in my cart. That's probably defrosting. Anyway, wait, what did I forget? Oh, nuts. Okay, I have to go back and get, yeah, when I pick up my glasses, I'll pick up some more nuts. How about that? Sounds like a good plan. Oh, uh, anyway, I just packed them like a fake Lunchable and it's fantastic and easy and they like it and you know, all that good stuff. So recently a friend of ours shared some of their snacks with Wentworth and he just like fell in love with them and this was what he ate. I think he had the white cheddar, maybe the sea salt. I can't remember which one. It was one of these color bags and um, our friend was like, oh, I got them from Costco and I thought, okay, next time I go, Wentworth was begging for me to get them for him. He just kept reminding me, don't forget to get those at Costco and I thought, okay done deal my sweet boy so that's what I got 28 snack bags see the nutrition facts on that and then the ingredients it seems to be uh, really nice for a chip and then the fun mom and me came out and I thought you know my kids love when I get Pringles for them although I do have to hide them so I can only pack them in their lunches otherwise they'll get home from school and eat like 12 cans at a time and then the not so fun mom comes out you know what I mean uh venturing to this side of my kitchen I got some OxyClean. I've been out of this for a while. I need to replenish it in my laundry room. So we'll do that together. Speaking of laundry room, I also, okay, I've been a Tide girl for most of my life. And the price of the Kirkland brand just really got me. So I picked it up this time. Let me know if you guys like the Kirkland brand, if you notice a difference, if it works for you. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't have anyone playing baseball and getting grass stains all over the place. You know what I mean? It's just normal everyday messes. And I feel like that's good enough. Tough stain fighting power, you know what? I like it, so hopefully it's good enough. I also grabbed some of these Madras lentils. This is a staple. I should have got two boxes if I'm being honest because Avelina comes home and this is like her after school snack. She loves it so much. So I grabbed some for her. You know what Alex's midnight snack is? These chicken pot pies, tender white meat chicken. I got some for him. Oh, one of the sheet pan meals, you guys, is a pot pie on a sheet pan. I'm so excited to learn about that. You guys know I didn't look at the recipe. I just looked at the picture and thought I could do that. So we're gonna find out. I also got some granola bars and I have found I've been buying the um, Cascadian Farms granola bars from Target. They're like the best price at Target. The value size, the 10 bars is around five dollars I want to say maybe six dollars but for ten that's a decent price I pack these in their lunches and I will tell you why they keep them fuller longer this is like a high quality uh, granola bar as compared to this that isn't I feel like they eat 20 of these and they're still hungry and I'm okay with them eating these when they have friends over because I would rather them just go through this because 64 bars is around seven dollars at Costco as opposed to like the six dollars I spend on 10 bars you know what I mean the quality but if I'm not feeding my kids and it's like whatever they just want to snack because they're bored or what have you I'm happy to supply <laughs> oh my gosh here's a big purchase okay this is Val Alex's Valentine's Day gift so I bought him some airpods for Christmas uh, but not Apple brand. So these are the Apple brand and they were on sale today. So I just thought, you know what? Maybe that's the universe saying, get your husband a Valentine's Day gift. We typically don't get each other a Valentine's Day gift, but I would also probably have bought these for him in any other circumstance because the ones, oh, the ones that I got him for Christmas, they didn't end up working out. I spent like $15 or something from TJ Maxx for them and they die after he says like 10 minutes and that's just preposterous. So I got him these, hopefully they last a bit longer and there's that, $100 down the drain. I actually wanna say they were like 109. Ugh, it hurts. You know what doesn't hurt? 
Ooh, being Super Bowl champs. I, I mean, I'm not a Super Bowl champ, but our team, I live in Tampa. They won the Super Bowl. It was so fun. Oh my gosh, I don't think I explained it to you guys in my shop with me video, but one of our neighbors, I don't know how they got their hands on it or what. They had a cannon. So every time the Bucks scored any points during the Super Bowl, because at the actual stadium during a home game, there they have like a pirate ship and a cannon would go off every time they score points, right? Well, they weren't allowed to do that at the Super Bowl because they weren't allowed to show like home team advantage or anything like that so I guess one of our neighbors got a hold of a can I don't even know how you guys it was so funny it scared the living crap out of me I you guys know how I get so scared about everything but the first time it went off I thought there was like something was going down I was like what the heck is going on anyway it turned out to be that and then every subsequent time it happened because you know the windows were open it was a really nice night let me paint the picture for you it was a beautiful night outside and we won the Super Bowl <laughs> Anyway, I'm not super into football, but the cannon was hilarious and it definitely made our night next to them actually winning, which surprised the crap out of I, us at least. Okay, speaking of 100% noticeably whiter teeth, I'm gonna have some. And you know what? I'm not gonna start it today because I want to keep you guys on the edge. I wanna see if you guys actually notice when I start these. Maybe I'll start in a month. Maybe I'll start in two months. Maybe I'll hold off and start in six months or a year. Or maybe I'll start next week. Maybe I'll start today. You get the gist. It is a crapshoot. And I wanna see if, if it actually works. If every single last one of you notices my whiter teeth. <laughs> I haven't used Crest White Strips in 15 years. 13 years, somewhere around that. And all I can remember is, oh my gosh, my teeth hurt <laughs> whenever I would use them. So we'll see if I get the same effect. I also got some crackers. Again, I like them in the like fake Lunchables that I make. And then Alex it, was really getting into shaving his head for the longest time. And I think maybe he just ran out of razors and he didn't buy any more. So I went ahead and bought some for him. There are 16 in here. Why are razors so expensive? I mean, I kind of get it because they're razors, but whatever. Okay, I got some chips. Oh, because you know what? I bought, I brought two bags of chips. We went to our cousin's house for the Super Bowl for half of it anyway. Uh, and then we had to come home. We had, a, we hired a babysitter and then we had to come home when Meredith was ready for bed. And anyway, so it's like halftime. A short story long, I got some like cheese, like liquid cheese. I don't know what it's called, like queso. Oh, the white queso. <gasps> you guys, Costco has white queso. Not my Costco. I would have bought it. Uh, I don't know. I've seen it in someone else's haul and I thought, oh, that looks delicious. I saw it at my public it was really expensive so I didn't buy it anyway I have some liquid cheese that I want to dip my chips in and eat so I got some organic tortilla chips for that oh LaCroix yes, sparkling water everybody loves a sparkling water from LaCroix that was really weird I promise I won't do that again Raz cranberry berry and tangerine you guys my favorite is lemon I've talked about this like oh, an annoying amount of time I don't think I like any of these flavors I don't know if Alex does He's pretty much a fan of everything except for the lemon. Isn't that odd? Is that why opposites attract? You know what I mean? So I can eat what he doesn't like and he eats what I don't like. Speaking of something I don't like, ketchup. Ugh! Hate ketchup. Ugh. I hate the smell of it. I hate all of it. But my kids love it. So I aim to please. Oh, speaking of scoops. I made chili the other night. Actually, I taught Avelina how to make chili. So she made chili the other night. And I really love some scoops in my chili. Are these gluten free? We normally eat chili with rice, uh, but I really like to just eat them with some corn chips. I feel like these are gluten-free, right? Corn? I feel like they if they were, they would display the fact that they were gluten-free. You know, because everyone does that these days. Corn, corn oil, and salt. Corn isn't a gluten, right? It's a vegetable, last I checked. Sounds good to me. I got some bacon over here. Oh, and this is what made the grocery haul so expensive. The salmon. Actually, it was only $12.51 for this. I have been wanting salmon for quite some time. It's pricey, $6.99 a pound. So I splurged and I got it. And I said, you know what? I hope dinner that night is delicious <laughs> i got some string cheese for the monsters i got some chicken drumsticks because everyone loves a good drumstick these are so such a crowd pleaser and all you have to do with them is lay them out on a sheet throw some oil salt and pepper on them and literally any seasoning that you want throw them into an oven 425 degrees for like 30 ish minutes until they're done 
everyone gobbles these up and they're so simple. So I grabbed some drumsticks because we were out of them. I also got two packs of chicken thighs. So these were like $20 a piece. And then I got some meat. Oh, I put the meat over here. The ground, uh, yeah, we have dirty dishes. It's like we live here, you know what I mean? I got some ground beef. It was like leaking, so I just dumped it over the sink. Is that, that's probably a really bad idea, but I didn't know what else to do with it. I, I'll wash my sink, it'll be fine. So, ground beef, uh, yeah, you know, tacos, you know, uh, food. I wanted to buy ground turkey, but I didn't see any there. Oh, maybe it was, okay. So there's this one aisle, the pork aisle I didn't go down. I bet you it was down there. Ah, well, that makes sense. Okay, maybe next time. Uh, and then I got this bread. I don't know why, you guys. Look how thick and luscious this bread looks. So I normally get like oatmeal or something healthier, but um, yeah, did, oh, sorry, didn't do that this time. I got some artisan, like carby, Sara Lee. It's like dessert bread, you know? Oh, wait, and then I got this chicken. Uh, you know, dinner tonight, probably pull it apart. Oh, wait, where's the bread I got? Oh my gosh, I think I dropped it in my garage. Hold up. Yep, there it is, right in my garage. Well, I got some bread. This is nice, oh, bread, you know what I mean? Oh, the carbs, and this was fresh. Oh, she came out, I, I was about to grab another bag, and she said, these are fresh, do you want one? And I said, oh my gosh, that's so, that's the sweetest thing anyone's ever done for me all day. So, grab some bread. Oh, and then some croissants. I already ate a croissant, you guys. Oh, they're so delicious. Look at that. So fluffy, so buttery. 12 count for $5. How can you say no? How can you resist? I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. Uh, wow, that drawer was a disaster and the end shot still didn't look that great, but you know what? It looks better than what it did and that's all I care about, so I will take it. So I'm starting this meal prep a couple of days, at least two days after I went grocery shopping. Sometimes it just doesn't work out the day of, right? Especially when I do a shop with me inside of the store because that takes hours and then I get home and that takes a lot. You know what? You know? You do it when you can, and I'm always happy to do it, like, you know, to wash my produce and all that stuff. Oh, by the way, I wash my produce with the Dr. Bronner's soap. I get a lot of questions about that. I don't use any produce wash that you have. I've had that under my sink for literally years. I use one little squirt every time I wash my produce, and it has lasted me the equivalent of seven lifetimes. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. Just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars, I want to drive a faster car, nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars, I want to take a trip. Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me
that song. Am I right? I don't know. I'm in like an acoustic music type of mood right now. I've been listening to Lauren Daigle and Hillsong United and all that good stuff. Oh, by the way, when I'm watching on my phone while I'm, you know, prepping all the produce and veggies is the Britney Spears documentary. You guys. It's definitely interesting. Let me know if you've seen it and your thoughts on it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, the Kirkland brand soap, whatever I'm having right there. And I will tell you, the scent is very strong, something I'm not used to. I'm used to using like free and clear kind of stuff. So anyway, there's that. Let me pop on another relaxing song for the last 10 seconds of this. It never rings in California. The sun is always shining bright. People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind their shapes, and you're doing the same. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the very, very large grocery haul slash meal prep. Did I get it round to meal prepping? It's still undecided at this time in my life, but I want to thank Ritual again for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys want to check them out and get 10% off your first three months, the link will be in the description box and I would love for you to do that. Thank you again for hanging out. And if you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.